Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you this new song called Heather by Conan Gray. It's a really soft, emotional song that's going to get you tearing up by the time you're done this tutorial. I think you're actually going to be really surprised at how easy this is to play because there's actually only one guitar part that we need to know to play the entire song. If you're completely new to guitar, you're going to want to start with my free beginner course by clicking right here. For everyone else, there's lyrics and chords in the description below and let's get into it. Today I'm actually going to be playing on this cool new Black Mountain pick. And it's this pick with a clamp attached onto it so that it clamps onto your thumb there. So you can actually use it as a normal thumb pick. But you can also play it as just a normal pick. So that you can strum along, which is different than other thumb picks because you can strum normally, but you can also thumb pick at the same time, which is really cool. And you can also say goodbye to dropping your pick in the sound hole and having it disappear forever. I've got a link for you guys in the description so that you can go check them out. Go give them a look. They're actually really cool and I think they'll help you playing a lot. Okay, so let's grab a C chord and we're going to learn the strumming pattern that we're going to play for the entire song. I'm actually playing this song with a capo on my fifth fret. So the strumming pattern sounds like this. So that's one, two, and three, and 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 or a little bit slower, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's really all there is to it. A few important notes though to make you sound as good as possible. First, you'll notice this is a three beat song in our, instead of our standard four. So you're just counting up one, two, three, one, two, three, instead of standard up to four. Second thing is this is a really soft, smooth, gentle song. So you want to play nice and softly to match that. So don't be aggressively hitting the strings, just nice and smooth does it. And you're going to want to emphasize that downbeat or the first strum to get a little bit more character to your guitar playing to make it a little more interesting. So you're gonna play that first one a little louder and then some really soft strums for the next one. Alright, now that you've got your strumming pattern, we're going to put this together with all the different chords. So on this song, you're going to start with a C, and then you're going to go to an E minor, then to an A minor, and then we've got an F major 7, and then end on an F major 7 sus 2. I know that's a scary name, but don't let it scare you off, it's actually really easy. So you're going to play that four times on each of the first three chords before switching, and then the last two chords you're going to play twice each. So all together that's going to sound like this. And then just one little change up. There's a few parts in the song before the chorus and after the chorus where that last chord you're just gonna wanna play once. So just starting from the A minor, that'd be. And then you start again. And then the one last note is we're going to play the same thing in the chorus as the verse in the pre-chorus. The song builds a bit and it's more lively at that point, so you probably just want to play it louder. So if you're playing nice and softly in the verse... You hear it's nice and soft and smooth and gentle. But then when we go to the chorus, we want to spice it up a bit so that we're going to play louder and more energetically. Not too loud, you don't want to overdo it and just ram on the strings, but play it nice and loudly so that it builds up a little bit and makes it more interesting. And then when you go into the second verse, then you can slow it down again, which is going to make it nice and smooth and soft again. 
And if you can play just that part, you can play the entire song. See, I told you this one was going to be really easy. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up button if you liked it and learned something from it. Say hi in the comments and hit the subscribe and notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new uploads. And make sure to check out Black Mountain Picks in the link in the description below. They're really cool and they're going to make you a more interesting guitarist because it adds more versatility. Being able to do multiple things at once. I actually really like these. And if you want video lessons and direct guidance from me and my team, as well as 10 courses covering everything that you could possibly want to learn on guitar and all future content that we add, then you can check out my premium Mastering the Guitar program in the link in the description below this video. With that, please check out all those things. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.